Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Edmund is out to work on one fence and hopefully continue. Why does he do this? You are idling, so you're going to go walk somewhere to idle. Just continue working, dude. Edmund is getting kind of, I don't know, frustrating um, activities, Edmund. Let's kick your construction up to a one, just in case that overrides everything. Um, do that. Now move on to... Okay, you have to go and idle. Apparently that's a job. <laughs> anyway, Rita, I have asked to go and do an expedition to that... Um, what are you doing to that last thing that we got? Cargo pod. That's what it was. So she's going to go do that. Edmund, you are going to collect all kinds of wood and construct a tower. Yeah, last time we had the issue of not being able to shoot the Ulf when they were coming up. I didn't think I was ever going to have to. I thought they would track around the whole settlement to the opening in the back and... We found out that wasn't the case. They came up against this wall. They came up against this wall. So we were standing here and couldn't hit anything because the wall out here is too high. So I think three sniper towers ought to be a way to hopefully deal with something like that next time. Far enough away from the wall that they can't hit it from a distance and if this were destroyed and they fell they wouldn't be falling right here at the wall or out they're going to be back a little ways so i think all of that works out pretty good so edmund is determined 6 a.m to do uh, everything except for what i've asked him to so maybe he's just not going to be min maxed anymore <laughs> maybe he's on to me ah he's back no, no, no. I'm, I'm doing my own thing now. So, the only way... I mean, Carter went through this continually and then quit. So, apparently there was nothing else to do. New resource meat stew. We've only just now made our very first meat stew. Tasty meat chunks in sauce. Vegetarians won't eat it. Okay, well, cool. Paulette, why don't you... Um, make some more of that uh, here you're making that one so why can't we do two meat stews reach to limit oh you made two of them okay well I'm keeping her busy so she doesn't get distracted and want to uh, go craft something so Carter I asked to go work on one of these as well in fact I wanted Carter to work on this one so Edmund you're working on that one Umiar, you are going to... Ah, you're going to get more of the fuel made. Yep. Simon, I asked to get some food and then get his tail up there and get the rest of those nanotubes. We'll see what he does. I just need to do my best to remember to catch him when he's up there. Make sure he doesn't pull what he did last time and bring back 24. Carter's up and going. Stats are good. Finding... A pile of logs to build a tower with. Who have we not checked up on? I guess that is everyone. Edmund is eating. Then we'll see what, what he does on his own. But I have a feeling they're not going to work on these walls again. Until I either one by one cue them into his, his task list. Or they finish all of the other construction jobs. And then they go back to do that on their own. I think that's what I'm up against unfortunately so that means these three towers need to get done and you're constructing a tower but you're going to get more wood so you're going here interesting maybe Carter has both of these in his queue so Edmund is not allowed to work on it that could be but that gets these three done very quickly which means we're that much quicker toward working on all the other random projects around solar eclipse six disabled 
devices, which means solar panels. Okay, no power coming in from solar panels now. So it might not be a bad time to put in two more of these guys. Can we do that? You are copy. You are a circuit board and alloy. We do have them. And I'm now very aware of the uh, of the power cords. And I've got bushes there. Which don't need to be there anymore, actually. I really kind of don't. Oh, well. I think we can leave them. So let's pop you in and you in. And... Yep, two more projects that... Am I paused? I am. That Carter and Edmund are going to... Uh, it's going to distract them from working on fences. I know. Ah, the eclipse just started. The ominous sound. Now the sun comes up on this side, I think. There you are. So that's the eclipse sun. Hmm. So, Umayar is still making fuels. Good. Edmund had to go find more wood. We got nothing left here. Aha. Uh -huh. Where'd he go? Oh, just along these fences. Yeah. We're stripping wood out. Various places all over. Where's a good example of that? Right back over here. No, that's all gone. That's all gone. Okay, we've picked up most of it. Yeah, we have. But, tower, didn't need a fancy one. Wood was fine. Let's get up here and shoot Olfen when they spawn in over here next time. There's still a lot of them over here, but that's our normal herd. But boy, there's a lot of them. Wow. Too bad we don't need any meat. <laughs> we have meat for days. Alright, so if there are any undiscovered species out there, there's a good chance Rita will find it, but we sent her out two in a row and she came back with nothing, so I think that is done. Paulette's cooking. Carter is working on a wind turbine, okay? So that means that Edmund is still working on this guy. He is well, bringing in an unknown amount, but this needs another 11, so hopefully that's enough. Where did he find those? I think we did still have some scraps on the ground out here from, yeah, like right there. What are you? Leather. I don't know what's with that leather. I, I, oh, there was something there with that building for um, entertainment or relaxation. There was a dart board, but there must have been something that took leather that was down there. I'm guessing. All right. Turbine. So he's bringing alloy. Hopefully enough to do both. Yeah. And that's it. All right. Gonna pop those in. Um, what is our load right now? Negative 59. So this has the potential of, of covering our losses there. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. Oh, these are running too. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're at 67% and dropping. Okay. So, yep, that's going to hurt. Uh, but with four batteries, well, three and a half batteries, we're, uh, we've got some cushion. That one's built. Cargo pod expedition complete. I found crates. With emergency rations. Okay. So that's a much better way to get emergency rations than making them. I stopped her from doing that last time. It takes two meals to make one emergency ration. So that's one way to very quickly deplete your food supply. We got ten of them coming in. Great. And we should probably set these guys to no longer eat emergency rations. Cooked meals. Uh, other... Emergency. All right, copy restrictions and paste them into everybody else. So if we do come up with a reason, 
Oh, I see. She wasn't... What's missing? Draft is missing. Okay. Yeah, did I get everybody? I think I did. So... If we come up with a reason to have to build another... Um, whatever those packs were called. We got one in here? Yeah. Survival kit. Then we can we can pull that off. Um, it was brought up in the comments a few episodes ago. We could go through and disassemble a lot of these clothes if we wanted to. And we could. But then I've got to store the cotton. And the leathers and what have you. And these shelving units are so full they're shoving them outside now. So don't think there's any real need. Yeah. We'll just we'll let them use it until they till they disintegrate. Yeah, I don't I'm not hurting on storage space at the moment. Simon Oh, I didn't notice what he brought in. I really didn't. Okay. So out of curiosity, what does this look like now? Well, there were several stacks of one hundreds here, and I'm not seeing them anymore. So maybe he did it. Okay. All right. Well, now you're transporting. Psh, sure, go for it. We have space now. We're, we're not going to set these for harvest anymore. But he's cleaning up all the, the little stuffs around here. 17, 18 tends to do that, that lighting shift each day, just like 6 a.m. All right. Carter had gotten back to work on some of these. Edmund, so I guess we're gonna get the brick work done first before we get the carbon nanotube work done. Fencing wise. Okay. Did you bring enough for that one? You did. Alright, that's a long winding path for Carter to get back. I guess we could have put a gate. You know, like Rimworld style. A gate here, a gate here. So I can make a straight walk through the gauntlet. But I see that as a weak point for something like this, so probably not. Handling furnaces, so how are you doing? You're in good shape. Edmund could use some food. Where is he? He's getting some food. <laughs> Simon as well. Um, but he's fine happiness-wise. He's going to go fuel things up. That's needed. Rita should be back this evening. Uh, desperate for relaxation, but otherwise she's okay. Paulette is still cooking away. We're up to 40 meals now. Good. Keep them rolling in, and that will help sustain us while you are gone, because Rita cannot cook as fast as you can. You are... I hear some music going on. Hand pans. Otherwise, it's 2100. You'll probably get the order to go and do some more work. <clears throat> what will it be? And our grain is growing over there. You are reconstructing a fence right over here. Okay. And these are going straight into carbon nanotubes. Alrighty. So let's get these done. Malfunction air conditioner. <clears throat> That's actually important. Edmund is also off to work on this side. Carter, you can... Boy, you're finally doing it. But I need to make sure... Actually, temperature in here? We're wintertime. We can go without that for a day. Okay. So you go ahead and get as much reconstructing done as possible. Edmund is going to lay out some more brick. Uh, for repairs, maybe for right over here. Thundering, so must have a storm rolling in. We are a third of the way through winter, so snowstorm. And I think we did have one thunderstorm, snowstorm, one year in this game. So it's possible we could get lightning strikes. I think. Seems familiar. Two devices have malfunctioned now. Air conditioner and a wind turbine. Okay, that one's a little bit more important. So Carter's working on that one. Edmund is 
we'll let you lay out the rest of these and then I want you to get onto this one before you go to bed Curtis got them both okay so Curtis got that one going yeah okay he was able to do it from the outside I see but he's got to go get some more alloy from a stove no from a stockpile handling a furnace so yeah maybe tomorrow get the rest of these out and get the rest of these out that might be a worthy project though I think sending Simon off to go and get more nanotubes might be a smart thing to do might be a, a daily thing for him um, is there anything that would help him do that let me think about this um, Simon this is for harvesting umbrella <clears throat> I don't know if that helps with snow or not respirator for toxic events night goggles for shooting and that's it okay there weren't any other tools like that to help us now and there wasn't anything else we have not built yet right craft mm -hmm. tools okay this one good luck charm is the only other thing uh, makes you happier okay uh, umbrella harvesting night goggles respirator signal flare sets a sick uh, craft a set of signal flares that can be manually thrown and will illuminate areas a surrounding area on impact and grenades that can be manually thrown I don't no, I didn't mean to click it meant to look at it ah okay so you take fuel and alloys signal makes one signal flare yeah I don't know. I'll have to think about those. Especially the grenades. How do you control that? Um, are you not running yet? Wind turbine? Carter? You are still on your way. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little spooked about grenades going off right in here, or right in next to that, or what have you. I don't know how smart they are going to be at that point grenade at the one that's attacking the lightning rod. Doesn't feel too wise to me. <laughs> okay, still no solar power. We're nighttime, and we're plus 90. We're actually getting ahead, and without generators. Ooh. The storm must kick up the winds. How does that sound? Maxed out at 40. The storm kicks up the winds. Okay, well... In that case, now when these guys max out, I'm hoping that means four times as much power will be dumping into this guy. Rather than the same rate. That And this, these are all negated. I'm feeling cheerful and optimistic. Rita. Good. Is her happiness maxed or something? No. <laughs> nope. Well, with that, everyone's asleep. Yep. Everyone's asleep. Even Prince. There he is. And the snowstorm is still raging on. I can hear the crackling of the furnaces there. Edmund's up and eating. And unfortunately he's going to idle for a while. Sending him off to these projects hasn't proven to be very fruitful for him. He just needs to, his idle time. Maybe I am a uh, taskmaster. Ah, he's getting a drink. What does that mean? Coffee? Coffee. Yep. Can't fault him there. So what is over here that she... Oh, she wanted to get wine. Okay. So Paulette is making... Sweet meats, I think, is what that is. So, alcohol and a, uh, I guess, sweet syrups. What are you 
delivering. Okay, that's sweet syrups. You're delivering those. Must have been something in the oven ready for a recipe and it didn't work out. Hmm. I thought about putting a door right here. You know, that, that does feel really wise. Kind of does. If I were to destroy you and you, <clears throat> would that be enough? Because she could just walk right here, drop them off. And that would speed things up. Uh, yeah, that's right in between the two ovens. Though she'd still have to walk over here to get some of the raw materials that aren't stored over here. But that would be interesting. Rita is home. Simon's. Rita's home and Simon is cleaning up her mess. Okay, so Rita is waking up. She's been home. I didn't even notice her. All right, so you're going to grab foods. Yep, foods and relaxation and get yourself back together again. So, Edmund is bench pressing, Carter is sitting. Let's get, um, actually, where's Simon? You, Simon, is transporting. Okay, you transport, I'm, I need you to see if you're going to eat. You're not, you're going to play an arcade game. All right, you do that, and then, uh, Simon, meat pies. You're going to eat a meat pie after that. And if you don't lose my commands, you're going to get over here and get in the load. So I think if I start you here, maybe you'll catch these and then go back and catch these. Again, I need to remember to, to be here. I might be able to even catch a few of these if, if I'm there. But yeah, it's hard to remember that. Well, we are. Where are you at? You're handling furnaces. Edmund and Carter were relaxing. Carter is now repairing a ceiling lamp. Okay. Uh, Paulette relaxing. Rita eating. Simon relaxing. Edmund, where are you going next? You're just finishing up. Relaxing. You don't need any breakfast. Eight in the morning. And you are what? Idling. Okay. All right. You're a question mark. Paul, that's a question mark. So maybe that's an eight in the morning thing. Spaceship detected. So Edmund, you no longer need to idle. We now know what you need to do. Contact spaceship. And it is somewhere up in there. I wonder if I were to... Yeah, from here you can see it as well. As you could have seen mining outpost over there. But somewhere up in here is a spaceship. Cool. So Edmund's going to take a look at that. Umiar is going to catch these last traps. It finally came up in his queue naturally. And you're halfway there. Carter is eating. Paulette... Rita. Planting. Okay. Rescue offer. Passing by spaceship offers to send a rescue pod. We only have space for one passenger. Do you accept? Yeah, we do. Alright, now. Does this run? Does the game continue? It does. I wonder if we'd see the rescue pod coming in. Look at that. <laughs> There it is. All right, so Paulette, you are heading home today. Until then, you need to cook as many meals as you can possibly squeeze in. So, except for hunger, you're in pretty good shape. Let's get the higher end ones, the mushroom croquets. Let's get those next. Edmund is con reconstructing something. Edmund. It's hard to click on them otherwise. And you found more bricks. So you are still rebuilding wooden fencing over here. Okay. Um, still more bricks somewhere else. And Simon. Ha ha ha. Gotcha. Okay, you're carrying 100. You're carrying 130. Can you also carry 
You refuse to even try. Simon, you're at your max. Okay. 130 is coming back. Perfect. Carter is reconstructing over here. I okay, want bricks in these, on these. So little by little we'll get around to this back end. Must be a distance thing. They must work on what's closest first. Um, lots of wind. Solar is back. Good. We're 100 and, and now 70 to the good. And I think we will just leave the the uh, antennas on now. I think power is pretty well balanced out for, for our needs. I think we can handle it. Reconstructing, reconstructing. Great. And traps are all done. No more... Omiar, what are you doing? You are handling more furnaces, which means more alloy. Um, you're in pretty good shape. You know what? Why don't you come out and just kind of clean up the last of these scissor hands. Whatever's left. Grab any bug meat that's remaining. I think that is it. Already doing. Yeah, I'm not getting the sense of anything more. Uh, those are all gone. So, last little bit of bug meat. Kind of clean that up. Alright. You guys are working. 22 hours left on the escape pod. Rita is getting the most important one replanted. Good. I had thought this would be the most important, but... We really do have probably more than we'll ever use, so no longer necessary. If I got you turned off, I do. No more planting. And no more planting. Okay. You're off. You're off. You're on. You're, you're um, berries. So, yeah, we'll keep you. Yeah, I, between episodes, I'd sat there and thought about, okay, we could build some kind of a tall structure. I've been, been playing... Uh, um, going medieval on the side for myself and you've got to you know build a massive floor and then put these spikes along the edges and a staircase going down and I was starting to build that way through here and I got to remembering you know we have these great little things called fortifications or towers we should probably you know use that <laughs> I stuck those in <laughs> 20 hours left for Paulette, well, the limit there. Snow is falling, which is a storm. So these guys still at 40, 37, so pretty close. We're getting there. He's doing a pretty good job. They're starting to disappear. We're down to the end of them. So we're not going to get much meat out of this. But we are below 600 now, so... Probably best to take these last little bits and make use of them. Scavenge 33. Carter... Can't double click and go there. Carter's out over here scavenging. Yeah, that's not too far away. Either there or here. These are marked to be scavenged. Salvage. Yeah, red is good in this case. One left, and a pancock, which is poultry meat, which means two trips to haul it in, so no, we won't do that. So let's make sure that he picks up all the meats. All right. Yep, we're good now. All the traps are reset, ready for tomorrow's attack. It'll probably happen. It's about, about the right time. So Rita is getting same patch. Yeah. See how these immediately started showing up? This particular one. I've got to click the grain itself. 1%. These were at 40% and they weren't showing. So that was that was strange. Just like it's not quite the same as outside. You know, the mechanics aren't programmed exactly the same. Uh, Edmund is cutting. 1800. Let's cut these. Let's cut these. 
instead. Almost 300 sticks and almost uh, over 600 hay. So Simon is transporting all of the random logs here and there. Good. And 15 hours left on that. Paulette, how you doing? You are hungry, so this is probably your last meal. Oh, she gets 70. Yep. So you are cooking. You're cooking. And I think it means you're done, or that's just the next one in the list. That's probably what that means. Uh, find out. Yeah, nothing says eat. Okay. So nothing, no food is stored in there. All right, so Paulette is eating, and this time, I think we'll get everybody there sooner than later to say goodbye. Which means Edmund. Hmm. Can we wait until the morning? Yeah, we might. Yeah, we'll see. He just got here. I'd like for him to get some work done. So that will last till, what are we, four, seven in the morning? Nine in the morning? Something like that. Yeah, we'll wait a little longer. Maybe we'll run this episode a bit long. Rita's drinking coffee. Umiar's petting Olfen, which I have not seen any notice for pregnant. And still no sense of a timing there. Pain, consciousness, movement, bleeding, torso. Okay. More rumbling. Which means the snowstorm is about to end, I believe. Because it's snowing now. Prince, Paulette, Simon. Oh, petting Prince. Simon is transporting, so he's restocking. Good. Otherwise, what's up? Eat is, Reed is eating. Eat is reading. And Carter is out scavenging one more time. What you gonna find? Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> oh, if only it was that easy in real life. Whoa, what'd you find there? But more scrap metal. How are we doing on scrap metal? I haven't really noticed that lately. Over there, 400. Okay. Storm's over. 2,300. Okay, 11 hours left on the pod. Yeah, well, we'll let Paulette... What you doing... Really? That is the closest there is, huh? Alright, just... Are you going to haul it all? Curious what you're up to. You are. Okay. Well, you should be able to get the last of this, but I'm pretty sure there's some sweet syrup a lot closer to you than uh, out here. But that is the last of them. Okay. Yeah, there's a hunter sitting right there alone. That's odd that she came out here to get that. Hmm. Handling furnace. Simon's going to sleep. Edmund is almost done. It is midnight. Two, th three left. See if he'll finish it. His sleep is decent. Now he's calling it done. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll call that good. So you bring back as much as you can carry. You've got the second strongest physical rating. So what does that mean? 150? Apparently, well, you left that. That was strange. 170. That's where you're stopping. Okay, that's fine. So Paulette's dropping those off. She's going to get this last meal going. Then she's off to bed. Uh, escape pod is nine hours left, so ten in the morning. And you must be tired. Yeah, you're not doing too bad. Sleeping, Edmund, Carter's getting something to eat. Prince is in bed. Alright, so how do we do? Well, we worked our way through a lot of this good. 
Um, what is... Yeah, we've actually done an awful lot. Is that everything that I've asked them to do? I kind of think it is. This is meant to be brick. Yeah, I think we've got it pretty much done. It wouldn't hurt to go ahead and do all of it. But those seem to be the higher priority ones at the moment. Okay then, that's good. Simon will have a lot of miscellaneous to pick up. He, he likes doing that. Um, do we have any more in stock? We've got 260 in stock. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I say do this section next and then send Simon out to get more, he will probably bring back just enough to do this. So I need to send him out to do it when there is no work queued, no fences already set. So he's not bringing supplies to drop into a construction project. He's bringing his maximum load to drop into a storage. Yeah. Got to kind of work around the uh, the little nuances of the game. Six hours left. So, Paulette, when you're awake, it, it will be time for you to take off. Reed is up. Simon's up. Right? Yeah. She is. She's a question mark. Simon knows what he wants. I'm hungry. Rita... Not so much. So let's give her something to do. She can come over, just eat some dried meats, and sit there with uh, with Simon. Uh, just these. Everybody else is still Z's. We've got five hours left. Good. So, Paulette, you're actually going to be in pretty good shape. We'll just send you directly there. So, last second... We'll get everybody up out there to wave a farewell. And then get ready for whatever this game's going to throw out the, the five of us left. Yep. So Simon is transporting miscellaneous. Oh, no. Don't put all those away. That was meant to be cooked, dude. <laughs> Thanks for unloading it. Okay, well, Edmund's getting something to eat. Rita is fertilizing. Okay, but you've got three hours to be back, so that's probably not going to work. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Carter, you're 88% rested. I think you're fine. Draft you out to here. Rita, draft you to here. Simon, you're in good shape. Draft it there. Edmund is eating right now. I think I'm going to let him. Umayar is... 100% uh, handling what? You're just getting started. Okay. Draft, come on out to here. And let Edmund eat, and then we'll get Paulette up to say goodbye. So Paulette did like Simon some. Nobody else. Simon liked Paulette a little bit, too. He did. Yep. So he'll be right there in the middle to say goodbye to her. And Edmund is now malfunction wind turbine. Draft Edmund, come on out to here and let it run for a little bit. And then we're going to ask Paulette to board. That's it. Did that work? Paulette boarding a rescue pod. Yep. Now... Paulette, while you're still in the house, let's drop off what? Actually, I could use your helmet. That's pretty good stuff there. Definitely need the gun. So, nothing there. You don't have a spear. And, I hate to say it, but your boots would be nice to hang on to. Yeah, I'm going to need those as well. Um, Carter could use the helmet. Though there's probably one in here. Yeah, I can't set him to do anything. Um, Rita is in pretty good shape. Though, could use a shirt. Yours, yours is worn out too. Simon, 
boots. Yep. Okay. And okay. So after this, that'll be our last backup set. After this, I'd say everybody else could leave with their full armor, and they'll be fine. Yeah. So you're dropping all these things off, and you're putting them away. Timing left is two hours. Um, <laughs> thanks, but um, I need you to... Getting something to eat. All right, let's try this again. Board Paulette right now. Paulette boarding rescue pod. Okay, try that again. Thanks for uh, you know for cleaning up, but uh, these guys are not going to wait for you. So the uh, the slow motion walk toward the escape pod, kind of. All right, say goodbye to everybody. Okay, five gun salute. And there she goes. Yeah, I can't get a another view of it. Uh there. Oh, it's just there it goes. Okay. Yep, she's gone. And now we were five. Yep. So, you guys undraft, and I assume someone's going to go right into the wind turbine, cutting the other stuff you didn't cut last time, and getting something to eat, fertilizing, and transporting, and all ready to start next episode. So, I'm going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.